Hello, this is the HatchetJob.com gaming ah, netcast. Oh, one more for the game. One more for the game. Come, sit. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Oh. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. Turn back. Turn back. Turn back. It has been some time since you last sat at the table. Let us begin again. Now then, now then, can you? You like it, but not a lot. Okay, so we start. The game begins. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Okay, so this is Hand of Fate. This is some kind of card-based deck-building RPG thing, which is recommended to me by somebody I play Overwatch with, who really liked it, and he had it on Xbox One. But we have it on PlayStation 4. Let's continue. Jack of Dust. Here is the first member of my court. The Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He is also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Oh, there's a big spider. I don't know what's going on. I've never played this. But the music's getting louder. Something important is happening. Let the cards fall where they may. Huh? We begin. Choose your next card. You can always review your cards here. Adventurer upgrades. Oh. Choose your next card. Oh, I can only choose one. I can, so, okay. Choosing the next card means I can click left. Uh, right, I mean, okay. Mr. Lyle. I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Ba -ba. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at a local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully staff to get your attention and you notice that he appears to be a goblin fallen disguised as a human his wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness my name is mr lionel if you give me what i need boy i will conjure up your heart desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation and mr lionel sounds like a victorian lady he cackles, sorry, he cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Give him bread from your plate. Ask him what he needs. Ignore the goblin. Need. I need to help you. Nobody heard who I was until I became a goblin. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bee. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one equipment card. Shields with this trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at the attacker. This must be performed with precise timing as the projectile draws near. Press triangle button to reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Counter weapons with a straight counter the foe's attacks. Look for the green attack indicators. Okay. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Then, before you can stop him, with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out of the tavern door. Choose your next card. I also, uh, we need to. I'm going to change the game slightly. I'm going to change down all music. Uh, we'll turn it right down. 
but we'll keep the voice up. There we are. Um, subtitles on. Okay, let's pick our next card. Twisted Canyon. That first moment, that glinting weapon, the call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. No, there's not, he says. As uh, the man in front of him squirts his eyes with some eye drops. So we're going to the... You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. So this is almost like a choose your own adventure game with cards then. Um, the walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Climb down to retrieve the weapon. Success, success, failure. Door. Choose from these options. Oh, bugger! Draws you one health pain card. Does that mean my health will go down? Lose 15 oh health. Oh dear. Holy shit. Uh, you retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one equipment card. Press square button. Swing your axe. You have my axe. Would you like to equip the axe? Yes, we A shall. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. The Maiden. Fair Merith. I'm not horse. surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Ask for longer life, ask for supplies, or ask for gold. Uh, let us have health. As you wish, Merith mutters and waves her hand, and light shines from her skin. The dealer draws you one maximum health gain card. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. So we get to 96. Six. Oh, okay, so we have 105 maximum health. It is said that sharp-eyed adventurers may protect themselves from the worst of Lady Gluck's contrary nature. Farewell, mortal. Oh, okay. Stairs. Down once more, seeking the heart of it all. You have discovered the exit to this area. Take the stairs or turn back. Let's take the stairs. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. You are on the final floor of our simple map. Your opponent waits here for you. Find him. If you defeat me, well, it Traveling is early tinker. to be talking about victories and losses. Let us see what you're made of. Traveling Tinker. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Tinker sell items of all descriptions. We'll approach the shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Actually, I'll do that in the. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. Oh. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Um, my inventory. I have light armor, 15 food, 15 gold, 10 gold, 105 health. Um, upgrades. Here is all you have gained. We have no upgrades. Um... Close this. Um, what can we sell? We know we need the axe. What can we buy? Uh, I'd like a way to compare what I'm carrying. Damage 25. Um, damage 23. Any healing that the player receives is doubled. Insufficient gold. Reveals stairs encounter. Upon entering a level, 
and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on a level. Um, R1. We don't have anything. I don't know how much gold I have, which is problematic. We don't have anything to sell. How much gold do I have? Ten gold. Yeah, it should show me how much gold I have on here, really. Uh, we'll we'll keep the axe. We'll buy some food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. And um, I'll buy one more. Good. Yes, let's leave the shop. Hello, stranger. What you buying? A winding trail. An ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Ah, okay. So it looks like I had the sound of an apple being eaten, and it looked like I lost some food or something happened. So maybe each card requires food. So as I'm fighting, I can try to balance money to buy things with gold, how far I want to explore with food. Um, maybe then food is kind of escape mechanism as I get to go to different cards. A winding trail. Suddenly, a, rare, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. Oh, I thought it was a rare tree. The dealer draws you one monster card. Two of dust. Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. Give them all your gold. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielders' faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. Well, it seems like I'm a warrior. I have more than 100% health. So let's attack them. You shatter battle cry and raise your weapon. The battle begins. Bum, 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 bum. I like the woodcut nature of those cards. Is it two, two bandits that we're facing? Here's my shield. Here's my axe. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Counter Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. I can't lock onto the phone. Oh, nice. Turn down the music still a bit more. Um, unfortunately, it's still a bit loud for me. You search the bodies for loot. The dealer draws you three in gain cards. Uh, we have equipment from the armory. We have a healing cap. Increasing the effect of one sort of magic with another. We get food. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. This guy's been on the facts, hasn't he? Okay, but settings, um, audio, it's the music that needs to come right down. We don't want it off, uh, but we want the voice high, I think. Um, language, English, recept, oh no, we don't see that. General, spider on, attack indicators, spider, is that because you don't like spiders? Um, do I need to press OK to have that audio working? Because it doesn't seem to want to work, which is a bit weird. I can't leave. This is a bit weird. Okay, so let me see. We have 22 food. If I press X, will the food disappear? Yeah. We, one, one food per card. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Dead Man's Gorge. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush! Draw one monster card. 
dust three enemies. Um, but I will equip my magical hat like the Sega Mega Drive game. Oh, we've got my hat on. i got my melon hat on already. That's fine. I can't use my shield as a shield. Noggin. Right in the noggin. You recover what you can from the dead. The dealer draws you three gain cards. We have equipment. Damocles. A classical combat. approach oh. to dealing with crowds. Throw knives in eight cardinal directions. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. We get five food. Okay, let's go ahead. The band you have reached my first champion, stronger and faster a good than man most. driven to madness by a war that took all from him, wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Uh, I like the brittle iron metal joke there, the pun. Uh, enrage making powerful unblockable attacks. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. I think I'll be able to defeat it, eventually, because otherwise it wouldn't be much of a game. Jack of Dust. Four. Now is that four, including Jack of Dust? Bruh. Getting a bit of a civilization revolution vibe with these characters. Jack of Dust. 